All right, guys, guys. So I've asked you all here today to talk to you about Easter. As you know, Easter's coming up right around the corner, though we don't know the exact date because it changes every single year. Anyways, Easter is really flagging behind Christmas, underperforming, missing every target. So I'm looking for someone who can take over running the program. Someone who thinks they have some fresh ideas that can raise the bar a bit, give it a facelift, make it something people can really get behind. Well, I don't actually know why you invited anybody else here today because I'm clearly the best person for the job and I'm happy to take on the opportunity. Well, you know, this is definitely not clear cut, babe. You see, your face is forgettable and nobody even really knows what the Easter Bunny looks like, babe. <laughs> Lucky them. <laughs> but me. Look at me. My face is on every chapel ceiling, every box of chocolates. Plus, we can also market my new line of loincloths. I've got an example. Oh, no. Whoa. 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 Have you seen Chicken Run? You know those things don't actually do anything, right? Except to add some juicy meat to the barbecue. <laughs> I don't want to be a boy. I don't like gravy. I, on the other hand, have fully operational wings and magic. So, put me in charge and you'll guarantee your Easter day delivery window. Are you the tooth fairy? I mean, why are you even here? Yeah. I'm really done with the whole rock up a couple times in your life when you lose a tooth thing. I'm really trying to drill into the holiday market. It's time to gain some international regular traction. These days, people are looking for something fresh. So I say, as a bit of a PR stunt, a uh, rinse out one might say, we'll offer free new teeth to make up for all those people lost from Easter chocolate binging in previous years. That should put a smile on everyone's face. No, babe, no. Do chicken even have teeth? I mean, I mean, we're going off topic here, guys. There's only two things people care about when it comes to Easter. One, how much chocolate they're gonna get. And two, how do you eat yours? Alone in a castle built of teeth. Tooth Fairy, I admire your fresh new perspective. However, that comes with loads of logistical issues and dental work, which let's be honest, no one's gonna sign up for that. Chicken, I'm sorry, but you just don't have the upfront experience. I'm leaning towards Easter Bunny. Although I do think you might wanna work on your image a little bit. But babes, you haven't even heard the best part of my pitch yet. Easter songs, it's a whole new market. Mm. It's Easter time, and there's no need to be afraid. Oh, oh uh, um, rocking around the Easter egg, have a hell. Okay, um, excuse me, I'm so sorry to interrupt. You all seem a bit lost. You're trying to make Easter more exciting or relatable to the world, but at the moment you kind of settled up bribery whether that's with teeth or chocolate, which, let's face it, has kind of been done. Don't get me wrong, I'm all about chocolate, but East has so much more to offer. I actually found this while I was browsing through the internet the other day, and what it talks about, this is what the world needs. 